What is up, guys? We are back with another, well, stream. They're becoming more and more common. We're, we're enjoying doing the streams at the minute. So, tomorrow night, we find ourselves at Preston North End uh, at Deepdale, a uh, ground which we don't normally do too well at, to be honest. So, for us to um, to be going there 12 unbeaten, you know, you kind of have to feel that town are going to be much more confident than they would normally have been. Uh, making the trip over to Deepdale. Um, simple reason we've not got a guest on. Uh, I'm going to be honest, that's that's my fault for being a bit behind with things. Uh, and obviously with it being a midweek game, it's hard to you know, just come straight after the weekend and uh, and obviously plan guests and everything. And I thought for this um, for this stream, it would be a good idea to uh, to, you know, to involve involve the people that are watching a bit more with the comments on that. Because sometimes I can... I can kind of neglect the comments I'm seeing uh, and not properly read them out with, with having a guess. So I thought, obviously, for this one, and along with the fact that I don't think there's a Preston uh, YouTuber apart from Ben HD. Um, so, obviously, um, yeah. So, like I say, it's it's Preston North End. It's a game we don't normally do the best at. But we'll just have to see because I'm quite confident going into this one. But if it if, if there is a game that we're going to lose, then this might be it. This might be the end of the um, this might be the end of it. The the unbeaten run. But we can't afford to be negative because we've been doing so good recently. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a, a standard thing of obviously um, engaging with all the comments. I'm just going to finish off doing all the promos for the video. That is something that sometimes I can't do before based on how it works. So. We'll just have to rush through all that. Um, if anyone's got any interesting comments they'd like to get featured up, then go ahead and comment them now. And um, and yeah, and, and we'll go and um, we'll go and get them on screen and uh, and see what everyone has to say. Uh, one sec, I'm just going to go into the settings or something. It's going to go black screen, I think. And we are back. I just want to make sure that the uh, that no one can obviously stop the stream by calling me up. Um, so yeah, bogey team. It's a bogey team. We, we know that. But I mean, an impression of just appointed Ryan Law, and they've they've been doing pretty good, to be honest. You know, in can in can consideration, and obviously the bang opposite of where they were, they are doing you know quite well. So I think we have to be. Uh, what do we have to be? We have to be cautious. We have to be realistic. We have to be smart, and we have to be resilient in this game. I think Preston aren't going to be a pushover by any means. Um, I mean, I liked the performance on Saturday. We really should have scored more against what was a not a great Barnsley side. The push in the back. I don't know if that really was a foul. I still am fifty-fifty on it. Um, and we did obviously score uh, an offside goal as well. So, it's good and bad. We're still unbeaten. We got through. But you'd have liked to have seen a couple more goals and a more convincing win. So, you know what I'm saying? It's one of those where you can't be annoyed at winning, but you, you kind of hope for a bit more of a... Um, a bit more of a comfortable kind of... You know, a comfortable kind of win, really. But, like I say, it's, uh, it's one of those... But, anyways, we've got um, we've got quite a few players available, which is obviously massive. Um, we're going to look through the comments is what we're going to do, because I've just said I'm going to do that. Um, hi, Aidan. Great to hear from you. Hope you're well, mate. Pricey with a very lovely comment. Uh, hello, Brad. Hope you're well. I'm good, Mella. Um, I'm good. Conman Place is up the town. Fiddle Lord. Yeah, there we go. Um, you're, you're that guy I saw yesterday. Yeah, our biggest bogey team, Murray says 2-0 to Preston. Interesting. Come on, town. Uh, 
up the town, can beat these. I know we don't know what can beat them, but we can beat anyone our day. Breaking records, true. Price has gone with a 1-1 one, one draw. How do people see us losing? I don't know how. I'm saying 2-1 with them scoring first. Bit of a similar kind of thing to Reading that would be. Uh, obviously going going behind very early on. Should beat these by 3-0 at the least, says F1, says oh, Cheza. I think that's a bit out of the question, to be honest, mate. We're not really the highest of scoring teams, um, especially away from home. So we shall just have to see. Um, Hoggy and... Um, Carlos obviously spoke in the press of this morning. Uh, from what we kind of understand, we've got um, we've got Pippa injured again. He went off, so you know it's it's one of them where where he's um, he's being cautious, and we're just going to see how he is. Um, but I mean, although he's not the best player, Turton has been getting better. So we have to give him credit where it's due. I think town one nil, maybe two one. If it's a draw, it will feel like a loss, even though they're in good form. We need three points most games to in the place. I, I disagree. I think a draw against Preston. What I what I'm a big believer in. You see, it's your opinion, obviously. It's no, it's no, no malice or all. It's just each to their own. We'll agree and disagree on different matters. But, but obviously, one thing that I think has been massive. Although although in the Stoke game we did bottle it, I like to look at things in the past um and and, and look at um and look at the difference. So obviously a couple of years ago, um this side a couple of years ago, five two at home to Stoke. One one last season with a red card, so playing against ten men. This season was one one against eleven men. It's slow but sure progress. And there's been a lot of games like that where we've seen uh, a bit of progress. So to get anything at Preston at all is a uh, is a huge, huge uh, W in my eyes. A win would be massive, obviously, but we can't be picky and choosy in this league. I remember Town in the Prem Hut. See you there soon. Yeah, likewise. Watford was a well. The the one I went on wasn't a good away day, but the one before that was. Uh, hello, Brad. How we doing, Proud Terriers? Great to see you. We should win this. With the form we're in, you would think so, but you just kind of have to, if it's 1-1, one, one, I'll be heartbroken. We, we've got to lower our expectations a little bit. I know we all want to get promoted, but it's really not going to be as as cut and dry and as simple as that. I think we have to, we have to be cautious and steady and, and not get, you know, not get sold a pipe dream. I think if we, if we start thinking that we're going up already, then... When we don't, we'll get disappointed. We'll slate the team, and it's just not gonna, it's not gonna really be a, be the most productive thing for for anyone, really. Um, still got to promote the stream, to be honest. It's absolute pain. Um, but looking at the team that I think will field, I think it will be obviously Nichols in goal. Um, without a shadow of a doubt. Got to say, I think Carlos should put Russell in tomorrow because he deserves a start. It's brilliant at the weekend, but I thought that one looks a bit shaky. He let Barnsley get close. Yeah, I think I could agree with that. Um, yeah, Blackman obviously he didn't look at his best, but he didn't concede. And, and clean sheet is always the way forward. Brad, what would your sign 11 look like tomorrow? That's what I'm going to get on in a minute. Salva, Army, start Russell. Love the, pa love the passion that Augie shows in his press conference. Can't wait for tomorrow. Yeah, likewise. I don't see our Umbrian streak ending at all. Tansis has come to spoons. Not tonight, mate. Not tonight. Yes, Brad. We need a promotion, but Preston are an okay team. Yeah, they're a pretty good, pretty good team at the minute. It's it's one of them. It's it's one of them where they've just lost. No, they've just won against Hull, another informed team. And you'd kind of fancy a draw, really. That's what a lot of people are, are going to expect. Um, <sighs> Talent definitely went for playoffs, as most of the players who, said, who joined said they joined for playoff on the push. Yeah, and I think 
there's about let me get the table up i think there's about i, I get what everyone's saying i'm just do you know what? i'm quite a positive person i have been a lot this season but i also know when to stop because there's been plenty of times where i've expected big things and been disappointed i reckon all in all I don't know when you say the cut-off point. With, I'd probably say the cut-off point at the minute is Sheffield United. You've got Sheffield United, Luton, Forest, Borough, West Brom, Huddersfield, uh, QPR and, uh, and Blackburn. I think, uh, in my honest opinion, I think I do think Fulham and Bournemouth are going up automatics with the squad they've got. If you look at the games played and the points and all that, Blackburn, QPR, Huddersfield, West Brom, Middlesbrough, Forest... Um, Luton and the Sheffield United haven't played a lot so all them are capable of being up in that playoff spot but it's all to play for and like Proud Terry has just put there it is a big month ahead I think come the end of this month we will know where we stand and that could be a very good thing or a very bad thing because Maybe not if we're going up Alfie, but we'll be we'll be able to get a better idea of, of what the of what the um of what the stance is. Because if you look at our next three games, I said the cut off point with Sheffield United. Preston on one point nine Sheffield United. The only reason I said the cut off point with Sheffield United was because Preston had played the same games as us and the seven behind. That that's still not even a lot, but you get my point. Uh Coventry could argue because they're in twenty seven games as well, but the below precedent at the minute. So we've got three teams in the top half of the table in the next game. Um and then and then and then after Fulham, who have we got again? Cardiff. You see, those are four games that I don't like the look of because You've got Preston and Cardiff, which are more than beatable, but both bogey teams. And then you've got Sheffield United and Fulham, which are good teams. Uh, you know, more so Fulham, obviously. But with it being the early kickoff, who knows what could happen? But I, um, we will know where we're at at the end of this month. Um, so, like I say. We've got a uh, we've got a big month ahead, and um, it's going to tell us a lot about our team. Uh, Buster Cole says, "Love you, Brad." Yeah, love you too, mate. Dante said, "Love you, Pape." <laughs> Dante, man, love all the sport, guys. Love all the sport. Uh, right. Us out on Twitter as well. Very good idea. Anyone else got anything they'd like to add? So, so this is the stream where I want to kind of involve you guys because I'm so lovely like that. Right, so I'm going to do my lineup now because I said we're going to do that. No, I'm, right, I'm trying to get rid of the comment. Right, so do you know what we're going to do? This will be helpful. Goalkeeper. This is actually going to take a while, isn't it? Goalkeeper, Nichols, um, right back, Turton, he's been playing better, I give him benefit of doubt, I go with the back four, we ain't got Levi back, so I go with the back four and this is what I do. See, this is another problem we've got. If we go with the back four, people, are, people some people are saying that Sal looked shaky on um, on Saturday, and that he did a little bit. Um, but that's the issue we've got. If we play a back four with 
In fact, no. If we play if we play a back four with um with two right sided centre halves again, it's not gonna be great. So do you know what? I'm gonna change this actually. And I'm gonna go with a wing back. I'm gonna play I'm gonna I'm gonna go for a five. He, he won't pick it, but this is what I'd do. And I'd put Rowan at right no, no, would I? This is not played. This is the problem we've got now with Pippa out again. No, I'll stick with Turton in a back four. We'll just have to bite the bullet and do it. No, we'll we'll, we'll bite the bullet. It's I'm just Turton in the back four. He's been good recently. And then centre ass. Um I probably would have put Lee's on the right. Um, and Pearson. Like, well, no, why is he doing? No. What, what is he doing? What, what, what is this thing? This is crazy. Um, and yeah. Do you know what? I'm just going to stop doing this and just tell you because we're going to be here all night. I actually give up with this. Right. Uh, Nichols. Nichols. Turton. Lees. Pearson. I put Pearson on left. Swap it about. Toffolo. Although I want Ruffles to play at some point. He's been quality. Uh, um, I want to play four, three, three. That'd be good, yeah. Four three three. Um O'Brien, Hogg, Krell, Krell Lighting. Give him another give him a start. Uh and then right wing Sorba, up top Warder, left wing. I go with I start Holmes just off merit of the fact he scored the past two games. Uh but what Proud Terrors has just put his spot on, he needs to do more than than he needs to get a bit more stuck in and, and you know bit more like Saturday, a bit more, you know, finish his chance nice and early on and then he needs to, you know, give us a bit more as well because finishing isn't just the uh, the part of the uh, part of the thing. Um, I do agree. Yes, actually, you make a good point, guys. Yes, I, do you know what? I'd start Russell over Aiton in that middle. I'd give Russell a start after Saturday. You've just reminded me about Russell. Um, so I'd put Russell in that three and I keep it as it is and then you've got Aiton to make a, a big impact off the bench along with Sinani off the bench which would be massive um, no way he should be starting I give it, I give him I give him the start of merit that he's got two goals and that he has scored our, you know, two of our past goals and if we're not starting Rhodes then we've not started anyone who's scored a goal in our last three goals, which just worries me a little. That's why I'd start him. So I'd start Karoma in. Absolutely no chance, mate. No chance. He's been far too greedy recently. He nearly got sent off in the lot. He needs to come off the bench and he needs to create a bit more. Good assist on Saturday, granted, but he needs to do more. Um, uh, but yeah, like I say, I give it Holmes, Sauber, Warder, and then you've got Chroma on that side to come on. Mm. No, I actually bring Sonani on there. We'll see. We'll see what game needs. If it if it needs someone a bit with a bit more um, Tom winning Sarb receives two hundred pound charity our choice. Chroma uh, so much more creative than who Sonani? Surely not. Sonani's been so much better. Creative wise, um, Chroma ain't creative. Chroma just gets it, cuts on his right and shoots and misses. Apart from that one stoke game where it deflected, um, he's not been the same player since that injury. I hope he gets back to it soon, though. Uh, time winners are his on the plan. Charity shot, uh, Piers, man, you've got me thinking. Uh, um, anything food bag related, feed the homeless, mate. Um, so, but you've got to get an assist now. Uh, where was I at? Twitter.
am I up? Where am I up? Where am I up? Where am I up? So what? So what? Where am I up? Right. Chroma is not a team player. That's that's kind of what I mean. I just. I find in that final third, it happened at Reading and he fumbled the chance. It happened at... Um, it's happened plenty of times where he, he cuts in and he could easily lay it to O'Brien, his man, his man behind him, tough little thing, and he just shoots and it goes over. Uh, Chrome, I was going to short, so that happens, I'll pay Paul you, come on the boys. Um, probably better off transferring on bank, pay Paul and he rob you, mate. Uh, well, he's a team player because when he was on top form for his injury, no saying anything. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But but at the end of the day, Prato, we can't be we can't be sentimental about what was. You know, like I'm sure I'm sure if we had the option now to I don't know sign um, sign an old player, let's take it a Danny Williams. You know, although he was good in the Prem, he's just not he's just not that same player now. So. Um, no, and he hasn't reached the same player for his injury. It doesn't make him a bad player at all. I'm not, never saying he's a bad player. He's contributed with goals this season, goals that other players couldn't score. Like you know, that one against Blackpool was key. I, I don't. There's a lot of players in our team that I don't think were capable of scoring that goal with that kind of finish because that's his specific traded, you know, curved finesse top corner finish. What he did at Blackpool, um, he did a similar one at Sheffield United on the rebound. It wasn't as good, obviously. Um, what's the uh, What's the... Yeah, bad example, Hennis, but that, that's what the point I'm making. If a player's not playing as good, they need to... You know, we can't start a player every week if he's not playing as good and if they're just trying to be a bit greedy. Um, what was the other goal he scored now? Paroma, he scored a good goal at Burnley. He was right place, right time. What else? He scored another, I think. Stoke, but he scored another before that. I don't know. Do you think Turton's goal was offside? To be honest, mate, I've not had the chance to see it. Um, and it only made me cry because him getting a goal would have been massive for him. So we'll look at some comments above. Uh gonna go over favourite players, creative offers more than Holmes. Yeah, and in times Holmes is greedy. Um, I only give him the start, benefit of the doubt, because he scored. Uh <laughs> A lot of the time, defenders know what Chrome is going to do as well because he always does the same cutting thing. Um, my prediction lineup: uh, Nichols, Ruffles, Pearson, Lees, Tuffalo, Hogg, Russell, I, Insaba, Ward, Holmes. Uh, I just don't. I don't see him. Um, I don't. I don't think he'll start Ruffles on right side. And I just don't see him not playing O'Brien. Clearly, I have forgotten as the ability to beat a man, give him some co consistent game time. Yeah, um, no, I agree. Uh, there was a time a couple of weeks ago, um, I can't remember what game it was, he was grafting, and I was even pointing it out, and I said, you know, much better. But but he just needs to stop. Do you know what? If Karoma stopped doing that stupid thing, and I've just explained it, but it's like, Sauber sometimes does it, but we Sauber, we know Sauber's got the, the pace to get it off anyway. So when, when he's going up to the defender, you know always Sauber's going to do that thing where he drops his shoulders and does a couple of step overs and always goes on his outside to put ball in on a cross. But but the thing is, Sauber's got the pace to keep going with it. If, if Karoma cuts in, a defender can very easily change his step. If, if he knows Karoma's doing it, then it's going to be very easily... Um, I don't like seeing players that are lazy on the pitch. No, definitely, I agree. And that's where certain players need to get stuck in more. Um, remember Rhodes' hat-trick against these? It must have been some years back. Whose positioning could be so much better, get sucked out of the game to it. Yeah, 100%. That, like, like I said, the only reason I'd even give Holmes the, uh, the start is simply because... Um, only reason i give Holmes the start is because he scored two. And it was a very good finish against Barnsley. A lot of players would have fumbled that. I'm giving him credit for that. Um, but no, no, I, I totally agree with it and get where some people are coming from. Um, sec. Um, guarantee Russell will be dropped off of a high. Um, 
Carson Pearson salmon dive. I mean, it looks like he's putting it on, but it, it must have been a must have been a hard hard um hard push. Uh well, Brian said about it. Ah right, fair enough, Aiden. Uh, that's where O'Brien makes it outside run. Agreed, yeah. Uh, thoughts on Forrest? Hums will never change, so if it won't work rate and full commitment, then he shouldn't be starting. He has had some games where the work rate's been a bit better. Um, high, yeah, high needed squat and loan. Um, like Blue Terry said, I don't want him getting dropped. So the thing is, though, at the end of the day, cheers for tuning in, Buster. At the end of the day, I think the thing with Holmes is he scored the past two games and that's the only reason why, why I start him. I can't just find much more than that. Um, um, but there are plenty of players that don't get stuck in. Um, if we if we individually broke it down, we, we'd see the same. I mean, there's plenty of times where it's on that right side and Sauber and, uh, Sauber and um, Turton are both, you know, shit scared to put a foot in. And they probably should. High's not poor, he just needs a more senior football or deal. 100% agree with that. We've seen quality from high, but it's just out of this depth in the championship, I think. Um, but yeah, th there are plenty of players. I would like to see Aaron Go giving it a shot. That guy, that kid could play anywhere, but I've heard he's a, I've heard he's a bit of a pain on the training ground. I've also, you know, not you know, last season at one point I'd say he was our best player, and now he's just not. It just doesn't look like he's in the plans. So we'll just have to see. But I think the key player to have in this game is the like of your hoggy because a lot of people are going to want to drop him and think he's, he's outdated and and I just think this has been one of his best seasons yet I think to have him it's, it's work rate at the end of the day because there's some players he's something outside would be like to see Road and Ward start together Coroma won't be missed. I mean, Rhodes need yeah, need, Rhodes needs a bit more consistent game time if we want to see goals from him. Um, yeah, when you take Hoggy out of the team, you soon realise the uh, the difference in intensity and battling in the middle. Although we will get done for height in the middle by by having Knighting on. That's, that's another reason why I do get what people are saying with Russell, and that's why I happily change and say I'd, I'd, I'd start Russell because having that height and muscle will be will be the difference. So it's it's one of them where you know you're sacrificing someone who's probably a bit all round better, but Carlos will never go to up front. It's not his preferred formation. He's mate. He's played uh, he's played four four two quite a few times. I, I think uh, he played it at Forest away. That was the the key one. He played, yeah, he played four four two in that with with Holmes on the left, Sober on the right, and Ward and Ward and someone else up top. I can't remember who. Uh, Augie's no idea. Really so the people need to get stuck in. Thanks a lot, Piers. Thanks a lot for the donation, man. Really appreciate it. Um, love you, bro. But he did play off two at um, Forest. I can't remember who it was, but I uh, I do recall uh, that being a, a formation we've used a couple of times. Uh, I quite like four four two as well. I would love Warden Rhodes or Warden Caroma. Warden Caroma works quite well at Burnley, but again, I mean, up until the chance that Caroma did score, we're doing that thing where he kept going, uh, cutting in and finding that far corner. Sometimes, if Caroma just took an extra second to steady himself and looked about, there were one chance that a lot of people won't even remember. I got it on camera. He, all he had to do was roll it to O'Brien, and it, I'm not. I don't care what anyone says. I have faith in O'Brien's finishing it. That was a goal. And um, so, yeah, I mean, how does Rose fit in the system? Well, it's it's, it's strange because he, he's, he's playing about with it. I've seen I've seen different. I've, we've seen the three four three uh, with full backs, uh, wing backs. Sorry, we've seen the we've seen the. Uh, sorry, Aiden, I did see your comment earlier. I'll get to it in a minute, mate. Uh, we've seen the uh, we've seen four four two. Trying to picture it in my head, we've seen three, four, three. 
and there was another one that we were trying and playing about with the other week. Um, do you know what? I do like roads and ward combo. Yeah, I mean, then you, you've got one player who can create and, um, you know, run with it. And then you've got one who can, and can kind of bring it down and, you know, and yeah, we played 4 3 3 on, um, on Saturday. Bring back Novak. Ward and Rhodes is the way to go. Ward is probably my favourite player this season. I could agree to an extent, but you guys, obviously, you've got a video to look forward to, um, if you do look forward to my videos. Yeah. Um, there is a video coming out soon, and I will be doing something along the lines of this, where I'm top my top five players of the season, and it's just not easy at all, because we've had so many brilliant ones. I think a lot, I don't know, I put a tweet out asking people's thoughts on it, uh, a lot of people might be able to guess my number one, but we'll, uh, we'll just have to wait and see. I'm not going to reveal, reveal out. Um, hi, Ben. I see you. How come you sport this field? Barney, I lived here. From here, mate. That's pretty much it, really. Well, my dad's part um, Yeah, pretty much it. Um, so, yeah. But, like I say, I'm looking forward to this game. Um, Brad, has the club recognised your work with YouTube? Um, I've never really had any kind of direct, you know, talks with with the club or out. Um, there has been, you know, times where people have kind of recognised me from from what I do, but never really spoke with the club about anything. Um, but it's um, yeah, it's one of those. I do my thing, they do their thing. Um, I'm sure they've watched some of my stuff. I'm sure I, I watched some of their stuff. It's a nice problem to not have knowing the top five because they've all been so strong we spot a local team. Yeah, it, that's that's it at the end of the day, right? It, when it but when it boils down to it, that's that's why we're kind of a bit more cheery this season because you know I'm gonna name players. I'll, I'll name the players that I were thinking of and, and work out, you know, who who it how who out of those players. But you know we've got we've got Nichols, Pearson, you know, uh, Caldwell could even argue about Lee's, um, Toffo in the last few games the assists, Hog, O'Brien. I'm gonna name the whole lineup here, but uh, Warder uh, and and Sarber Thomas. I think I, I, I did say O'Brien, didn't I? There's about eight there to choose from, so it's, it's so difficult um, to uh, to establish who's been better than who. But I think one thing that could be key for us against Preston is if we have a strong bench, because it worked really well at Burnley. Uh, since so coming back, Rose, it seems that to have some pace he never had. Yeah, maybe he does. I mean, obviously, he's doing... He's doing much more um fitness work with carlos uh you're going to spend me away brad yeah i should i should be doing so i've had a good first touch he would have been snapped up from us by now uh, he has a pretty good he has a decent first touch i mean a lot of the time some of the balls are playing out wide to are pretty high and high and quick so it's one of them where it's you know, it's harder to to kind of stop it um but everyone in the chat yeah don't spam her out, but everyone in the chat put your lineup. What you, what you would pick if you were if you were boss, if you were head coach. What what lineup you would pick? Uh, it'd be interesting to see. Really interested to hear what you guys think. Come on, Brad. No, I don't. I'm not. I'm not seeing it, mate. I'm not seeing it. But yeah, massive thank you for the donation, Piers. But yeah, like I say, I, I just want to hear everyone else's thoughts. How many of you think we are winning the next four? Wait, someone put how many points do you reckon we'll get? A bit, just a bit ago, and I've just missed it. And Aidan put that about Forest. My opinion on Forest is it's got it's got it written all over for us to go there and lose now because we beat them out there already. But at the same time, it's also got it written all over for us to actually go and win there after they beat. Um, obviously, Arsenal and Leicester. It's all to play for. If we if we start the right team, bring on the right subs, uh, and don't try and defend a one 0 lead, 
you know, we could we could have them. Uh, we'll just have to see. Uh, although I would still do against five. Uh, yeah, really good from the board. Watch your score prediction for tomorrow. We will get there in just a sec. Alpha. Um, my my thoughts on the next next uh, four games. How how many points we're going to get? Um, so I'll review all of your guys' uh, lineups in in just a sec. But next four games. So in no particular order. So, well, not, you won't be able to tell the order because I'm going to work it out. But uh, four games. Let me go to his a sec. Just have a quick look who we've got. I um, See, part of me wants to say five. I think out of these four games, we've got a win and two draws and then a loss. You can work out where I think the loss is coming from. But I think a win and two draws. No, 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 no. I, no, no, I reckon seven. Two wins and a draw. Yeah, seven. Two wins and a draw out of them. Uh, I think 2-2 two, two is Jacobson fit. I hope not because that guy's been tearing uh, tearing goals, tearing teams apart with his goals. Um, Let's see everyone's lineups if we can. Let's see all those lineups. So, first one we've got is Blue Terrier. Nickel Sofalo, Sar, Lees, Pearson, Russell, Hogg, Aitin, Holmes, Ward, Thomas. So, who, so, is that Pearson at right back then? Is that what you're saying? Pearson at right back. Bad memories of Deepdale was you their promotion season. I think it was Halloween off job. Didn't go then. I went when Elphick got absolutely torn apart by that attack on it. We're giving us a yellow. Um, yeah, if there's any Preston fans in, I apologise for how salty I was that day. I came up with some stuff that was stupid. Okay, I was I basically just like took the ref ruining the game and then I like, took it out of the Preston fans like slagging their attendance and and all the rest of it when when I was just salted to be honest but we've all been there the, the only difference is that I'm on camera so it comes back on me and but yeah um so yeah I'm guessing he's gone yeah Pearson right back maybe maybe it'd be decent that Nichols Hoff Pearson Lees Hogg O'Brien Thomas Ward Cromer Rhodes so you're playing a back three with no wait what I'm confused Who's playing where there, Henners? Is that a back three or a back four? Right, and, and tell me the back four then. They start turning. I've only got 10 on there, yeah, fair enough. So, yeah. Um, Aiden reckons Preston Wayne should be an out of draw, Fulham will get a bad Cardiff win. Uh, Nichols, Lees, Pearson, Toffolo, Turn, Hogg, O'Brien, Russell, Cromer, Ward, Thomas. Agree, 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 agree. Yeah, I like I said, I'm 50-50 on the, on the... I only start Holmes off his merit of goals. But I can see why you'd want to start Karoma. He, he has got a goal. He's got a very good goal in him and a lot of pace. And if he just fixes that that passing in the final third, he should be, he'd be a right player and back where he was. Ward, Thomas, 100% agree, yeah. Um, um, 
how can I get hold of you now? But add my Snapchat band might do a fan cams if results positive. Yeah, man, uh, sure, we'll get you on. Um, that's that's the only problem with the fan cams is pe sometimes like people will say to me, oh, you know, why are you not doing them? It genuinely is a case of uh, sometimes I'll say I'll do one with a person and then they've like they just leave like at the end because they're that annoyed with the result. And you know, you could argue that'd make it a better. Um, you know, you could always make out that that, that that'd be a, a reason to, to get you on, really, if you're fuming. But but obviously, people can be hot headed and don't want to say something that they regret on camera. Um, not that I'd post it if you did, but you know. But yeah, like I say, I, I'm always open to doing the fan cams, but it's just a matter of saying you'll do it and and, and you know and turning up and all that. I'll be too negative if we get B. No, that's fair enough. But even so, I'd get you on regardless, mate. That's. End up getting your YouTube strikes. I can I can believe it. Oh, do we not? Do none of us remember what happened with Blake at Swansea? That was yeah, that was bad. That. Um, and then did someone else put a line up? No, right. Uh, how Brad was close to our lineups? Yeah, always pretty close, right? I'll be too negative if we get beat. And can you just what's your opinion on the stewards at Huddersfield? Um, I don't want to tar everyone with the same brush here. So I'll I'll try and be as as kind of professional with my words as I can, but I think some some are very some are very some are too occup, occup, occupied by watching what the home fans are doing, um, and sometimes you have you know you have students on either side, but like. The away fans will literally they'll get segregated by the stewards and one of you know i watched against stoke or derby one of them just walked directly up to the barrier and like they did nothing but if a town fan had done that he'd have probably got kicked out so what i'm what i'm trying to say is the stewards are usually there to make sure the away fans are not causing trouble because if anyone's going to cause trouble at any game it's generally the away fans but but I just, I just think it, it's stupid how you know you'll, you know, a goal will go in and you'll, you'll stand on a seat just out of, out of emotion of being that happy, and, and like, you'll stand on a seat and, and you'll like, I don't know, you'll give it big into away end, you know, big deal. People, you know, people do it all the time, and it's just like, they just like look at you and like, you know, come on, get down, like you shouldn't be doing that. It's like, you know, it's just it's part, it's kind of part of the game, and obviously. What happened to that to that fan at the top? That was awful. You know, I wish them the best in the speedy recovery. I don't know how that happened. I don't know if this this recent thing with Stewards has been because of that, but but I just think there's just no. They just don't care what the away fans do. Like like I said, they just walk through and they don't even stop them or try to. But a town fan stands on a seat and that's it. You know, no, don't don't stand on a seat. Like it's it, it, I just don't agree with the way they to do that but like I said this isn't all of them this could be like one or two per game but you know majority of the stewards that I've seen you know some of them up at the top of sports and before they watch my content and everything and I've, I've spoke to some guys in the proper sound you know proper down to earth and just like any other person to be honest uh, got banned in 2015 never had any trouble Kenny <laughs> um, watch our favourite town chant ooh uh, this is a good question actually uh, new more training yeah definitely Right. Uh favourite town Speaking of chance, we need to make a new one for O'Brien because he literally said he wants one. I mean we tried we tried getting the uh, the O'Brien to like uh, departure chant, you know, da -da -da -da, Lewis, Lewis O'Brien will score a goal for me because it sounds pretty decent but but no one went for it. Um What's your favourite town chant? God you're killing me. I think Toffo one's up there. Top four one is definitely up there. Um, um, since I was young's good. Um, we love you, we love you, we love you, and that's what, and that's why we follow. We support the others. That's a good one. Um, so, but that's another good one. Yeah, yeah, that's a good one. Um, there is, there are some that I like, but like when you sing them constantly, it can get a bit tedious. So like, I don't don't like it as much as I used to. Or 
Um, how many we sold to Matt? I've heard we've sold 1,500. I think we should have done better, really, to be honest. With, with the form we're in, there's no reason why... I mean, that the amount of people that were there signed, there's no reason why that should be every week now. Because, you know what I mean? We're doing good. You can't you can't say it's, it's you know, about Phil anymore or whatever because, well, he's, he's not... You know, Hoyle's kind of... I don't know what's going on with that, to be honest, but the Hoyle's having more kind of thing. Um... More, more kind of honest on that. Uh, can you do prediction of the championship table? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll try and get some of that in the works. Pay the day available. I hate that everywhere we go. Um, yeah, he's to the run, isn't it? Um, then when Sauber comes and joins him with a chant. Yeah, and the wave came back on Saturday, and that was massive. I, I don't, you know, obviously. Like I say, I love hearing everyone's perspective. I, I'm not, you know, I'm not a knob. I don't, I don't I, just because I disagree with you, I'm not going to be like, all oh, right, that's it, I'm not talking to you. But I, obviously, people, some people have said, oh, the wave should have been kept in David Wagner's reign. I, I just, you know, I just kind of think, like, it gets the crowd going a bit more. You get to, you know, you appreciate the, um, get to appreciate the um, the players. They appreciate you, a bit of wave, a bit of cheering. Not wrong with it in my eyes, to be honest. I want to be HCFC. That's a good one, Tom. Yeah. Um, what happened at the top, Brad? Um, I don't know if that's in regard to any fights that kicked off or the fan that was ill. I, I don't know what happened. All, all I heard about the fan was that someone um, someone collapsed regret, regrettably and, and and had to go to hospital. And obviously, best wishes to them. I, I don't I don't really know any any specifics about that. Phil's gone basically. Um, uh, Dean is looking for a buyer. Um, Phil's gone, yeah. Anything ever come with that? It was switch on a buying us. Um, I think he will buy us and then Dean will just run the club with his money. That's kind of the, the message I got. But um, but yeah, like I said, I do think we should be selling more, to be honest. You know, 1500 I know it's midweek, but like Piers has just said there, you know, it's pay, pay on the day. So, you know, you should have, you know, we should have, um, we should have a good following. You know, we, we should. We should um we should be selling at least you know twenty five hundred mate. I mean, I mean we're sixth. No, we're not. We're fifth, aren't we? Where where are we? Yeah, we're, we're fifth. We're literally we're fifth. Now I don't want to get ahead of myself because I hate doing that. Yeah, rest in peace, to the Fulham fan. That was absolutely awful news. Uh, best wishes to the family. Um, thoughts are with them. Um, no one should go to a game and never come home. That was awful news. Um. When I read that, I was quite, you know, like, wow, that's just, just awful. But yeah, we are, you know, we're, we're doing much better than where we were. We had that blip where we bottled the games to Coventry, Barnsley, Peterborough, Cardiff. But even in the middle, you know, the teams in the middle were doing better against. We're five points off second. Now, to put this into perspective... Us and Blackburn are on the same games on point, uh, same, same games, and we're five points behind, and we're in, well, much better form. Yeah, they've lost two more two games in in the games that we've drawn. Um, no, I can't, not done the predictions just yet. It's been a bit of a long stream this one, but I'm not bothered. I like you know I like involving everyone and. And I love talking town, so I've been doing it for long enough. So it's whatever, isn't it? you know. We'll, we'll we'll go as long as we. Yeah, this is something I keep saying. It's it, you know, obviously there will be a Blackburn fan that will, that will come across this video at some point, and they'll think I'm slating them. I'm not. I just genuinely out of the games that we could get in the playoffs if we stayed there. Blackburn are not a team that fears me. Apart from if you take Diaz out of the equation, I just don't. This could you know this could make me eat my words, um, but. They just don't phase me as much as the likes of Bournemouth, QPR do. And even QPR, maybe not as much. They were, they were a bit, well, they weren't, they weren't lucky at all. No, but we just made it very easy for them down at, um, at the KM Prince Foundation Stadium. If we just finished his chances, we'd have won that game and we'd be bang on level with points for them. But we had to make things uh, very hard. Championship prediction for tonight on the stream. I'll do a quick one, mate, but I'll probably make a video with more detail. I think, to be honest, I think we're going to finish sixth. Fulham first, Bournemouth second, Blackburn fourth, QPR third. 
and then Borough are going to drift into fifth and we'll finish sixth. And then we'll get Blackburn in the playoffs, beat them and lose to lose at Wembley to one of the other two teams. Let's hope not. Uh, Ronaldo on the bench. What, they, Prem playing tonight, our Champions League, is it? Um, yeah, I, I don't know why. I've got a feeling. Or, or, or if we win in the playoffs, it'll be on penalties or extra time. We're not going to do that in 90 minutes. We'll, we love dragging things out, don't we? We couldn't ever have a nice, peaceful uh, playoff run. But we'll just have to wait and see. Um, I'm going to crack on now with the score prediction. So, everyone spam your score prediction. But, playoffs or not, I couldn't have asked for a better season so far. Yeah, so unoptimistic. How do you mean, mate? Explain. It's not about being optimistic. I've just obviously outlined. I'll explain my side. We've played more games than everyone. That's why I'm a bit. Because we have played more games than everyone. Um, two more than all the teams around us. Apart from losing the final. If we got... Well, the, at the end of the day, if we... Right, it depends. If we play Bournemouth, I think we'd lose in the final. If we play QPR, it's all to play for. QPR, uh, you know, on a par in form, but played more games but better having points at the table. 100 million percent and that's not what I'm saying I, some people may misunderstand I don't know but but I just I just obviously with us having played more games you know QPR have played in their last five games they've won four and drawn one so when, when I look at QPR unless they're playing the likes of Fulham or Bournemouth Bournemouth are nothing special in all fairness which is what I would have said up until this window this is where it's kind of been a bit you know a bit like maybe the writing's on the wall kind of thing now you know, you look at their team, it's got Huddersfield will beat Bournemouth at home. Would well, you know what? This is what I love. I love I love stuff like this because we've all got different perspective on this. So I personally think we could do QPR at Wembley, but Bournemouth I think would go through. Uh, I think we'd do West Brom. But we're getting ahead of ourselves now because we're only fifth. Uh Drafty Bournemouth than Luton at the moment. True. Still got games to play for points and we've already got ours. Definitely. Definitely, but obviously, the well, no, the teams they're above. So, like I say, they're above us. So that we kind of need them to lose now. I'm, I'm, I'm on about the, the likes of QPR and, and Bournemouth. Um, West Brom, they can catch us with a win, but I don't, I don't really see them doing that. We'll have to see. Uh, they've just sat the manager actually, so they probably will do. That. They probably will do actually. Boring is sit in the same boat really. We're having a cracky season. I lost all year by this time two years ago. We hadn't won a game. No, I I am absolutely buzzing with the football we're playing at the minute. But with the games I'm seeing, like we are twelve unbeaten. There's a, there's a great energy around, but every game is tough in the championship. We'll just have to wait and see. If at the end of that end of this month we're fifth, and then I tell you something, yeah, I'm a I'm I'm just as fickle as the as the next man. If we if we are in the in the top six by the end of this month, um, I'll just see all of the unexpected forms. Oh, definitely, mate. We've we've had some absolute crackers on on Twitter in the past week. So, I'll, I'll say this: if we're top six at the end of the month, I think we'll stay there. If we then can get the likes of a point at West Brom. And if we win Bournemouth, that's when I'll think to myself, yeah. That's when I'll say, yeah, I think I think this is, you know what I mean? This is where that game against Bournemouth in March is massive. We'll just have to see. Not to be negative, because I'd love to go, but this team isn't as good as the last promotion team. Don't think we're good enough to go. I don't know if you take Moy out of the equation. I think it is. I think you take Moy out of the equation. I think we've got. I think what we have got more of this time is a variety of goal scorers. To an extent, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, we worked this out the other day, me and a mate, but. 
I reckon Nichols is a better keeper than Ward. It's bold, but I think Nich Nichols is the best keeper we've, we've had. Maybe as I've got older, I've, I've appreciated it more. But I just think, I just, I just don't, I'm not phased. I'm just not phased whenever anything's in the box. I just, I've trusted Nichols all the time. Uh, Mark could have gone on to be, go to a massive club. That's what I said. I said he'd do a job at a top six team. People laughed at me. People went, oh, Chunga was on Rio Shinlala, better hog. I'd say hog were, I'd say hog was better this year. Ward wasn't great at the weekend. Yeah, but he only come on off the bench, didn't he? But he were grafting still. I think the depth in the squad, yeah, that's that's the point. Yeah, the depth is better, much better now. Back then we had the likes of, you know, I can't remember. It's so long ago. It almost feels like a, a, a dream, doesn't it, that we got to watch that. But it's all good because you see, all you have to. If I say one thing, all you guys have to say is no. I disagree. And uh, and say um, say something along the um, along the lines of I think we'll go up and and because I want it to be true, all it takes is that much. I'll be like, yeah, you're right. Yeah, I think we are. And that's how that's how easy it is to convince me because I there's nothing more than I want for us to go up. Like yeah, we probably get bad every week, but the actual the actual crack of it and the actual fun and everything, Wembley and the lot, I'd I'd, I'd probably cry like, and I'd get to go this time and not be on a holiday, but. Squad is unreal. Somebody can come off the bench to change the game. That's exactly what I mean, right? We had Scandal on the bench. Yeah. God, I used to love that guy. Still do. We went up this season. Ronaldo's in Huddersfield. That's all I said. <laughs> Martin like, Crane on the bench. Yeah, the, 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 the quality of players we've got now on and off the bench is... The, the, the collective depth is better. Yeah, I think the collective... Yeah, Holmes Dennis. That guy obviously had to retire. Crane, Bun. You know, you look at our wings off the bench, I'd say Dwayne Holmes and Karoma are, uh, are better than than uh, Bun. Craner, um, I'd, I'd probably say Turton maybe on a... You know, now Turton, kind of on a par, really. They both didn't really create much forward, but, you know, they could do a job. Um, I'd say Sars better than Craner, I'd say... I say Ruffles is on a par with. Right, guys, you're gonna make me reminisce, and we've we've been going for an hour, so I, I don't I don't want to start tearing up. But that being said, last time we had two Chelsea loanees, you know we did get we did we did just get promoted to the Premier League, so we'll just have to wait and see. But I want to wrap it up with my score prediction. We've been going for an hour now. I always say I only plan on doing twenty, and then, and then you all convince me that we're going up, and then I sit there and get giddy. Yeah, Josh, I'm off tomorrow. I'm going tomorrow. Last time we had two Chelsea loanees, we uh, we uh, we got promoted. So we've got Angerine's guy to come in. Yeah, so we'll just have to see. But we even players like Ruffles out of the squad on a Saturday. I don't think we should leave him out this Saturday. I think he, even on the wing, I'd play him on the wing or all, you know, bring him in to play a role in, in whatever. But I'm going to do a score prediction now. Before all you guys convinced me we were going up again, and I probably said something different, but I'm going to go with. Do you know what? We're, we're going to. Do you know, let's drag it out. Why, why, be, why be boring? Let's drag it out. So I'm going to go with. I'll be getting kidded. This is what I mean. You can't. Stop, no. Um, and Aidan answers your question. No, I don't do the drums. Uh, someone in the couch had Lyle down the front of him, and he does a great job. Credit to him. Um, but no, don't, because I'll get all excited and be like, oh my God, we could go up, and then and then we'll and then we'll bottle it because town like to do things the hard way. And I know it's, it's wrong to say that, but we do do stuff the hard way, you know, like, oh, just, right, let's stop, let's stop, let's just, right some water right my score prediction for tomorrow don't make me go on to going to Wembley twice well three times I I did the mistake of putting that on Twitter saying two trips to Wembley it's three the semis the semis are a, a trip to Wembley so guess the right, the right whatever will be will be we're going to Wembley 
the town are going to just face it now, mate. Stop, man. Stop. Right. I suppose that's another thing about not having a guest on is that I don't want to waste, you know. I don't want to say, oh, we're doing it for half an hour and then and then um and then have them on for an hour. Beat Forest, beat Boron Wood, and Wembley, come on. Oh, can you imagine? Stop. No, stop. No, no. It's, it, no, no. We, we don't have the luck. If we beat Forest, which we're more than capable of doing, we've beaten them already once this season. And the only reason they beat us was because we were due to lose a game and because they just sat the manager. Any other day, it could have been a completely different game. But if we beat Forest, you're great to chat to me, don't worry. No, it's because I'm getting giddy and I don't want to get giddy and then, you know, I don't want to get all happy and think, oh my God, we might, we might actually do it. And then, it'll just, do you know, it'll just be like Euros all over again, sat there in the pub thinking, oh my God, we might actually do it. And then and then sit back and bottle it and I've just, I'll cry, I can't do it. Not again. I've already had heartbreak in 2021 with, with Euros. I'm not having it this year. But, right. Score prediction. Preston are going to take the lead first. I'll tell you exactly who's going to score as well. Because I've been, I've been getting pretty good at naming these recently. I said I said 3-1 United for the Middlesbrough game. Now, I was wrong with that, but I got the, I got the goal scorer right for Borough. I said Crooks, and Crooks scored. So, you know, small dub there. Who's going to score for Preston? I reckon Cameron Archer. He's someone to watch out for as well at the minute. Cameron Archer's going to score for Preston. Yeah, I won't mind if we got knocked out by like Tottenham or someone, someone good like that. That's like whatever, you know. Like, we we got to go to Tottenham away, and in the quarters and got knocked out. I can have I can have my head the highest it's been ever in the FA Cup. So well, it's the highest it's ever been now. But even you know even higher, Preston out to score first hasn't happened at a ta ta uh, time, a town game in a while. I just learned wrong. I did. How do you mean? Because Reading have scored first in pretty much, well, a, the last couple of, in the last of, a few of the last couple of times we played them. Uh, but I think Preston Preston have scored first last time we played them, I believe, at at their ground. The, I, I, this is the, see, I always it's almost as if last season didn't happen to me in some regards because we weren't there. So I always say last time, as in like meaning the last time when Elphick got like nearly cut in half by that tackle it's in the last games we've scored first right okay um i haven't want to press it do you think we are going up can't ask me that can't ask me that right let me get this out of the way now so cameron arch is going to take the give her pressing the lead in the first 15 minutes and then and then I think Sauber's going to score and then I think Rhodes will come on and score in the last 10 and we'll nick it 2-1 so I'll assist for the food bank <sighs> going up you know it breath oh can't ask me that question I can't no because I keep saying this and then no 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 stop Declan man no stop <laughs> Winning the semis against Blackburn, oh god! We go up though, imagine. I can't. I don't want to imagine because imagining is just imagining is just a way of like imagining just like a kick in the face. Doing it is the is the real. That's the real shit. That that's the, like the the wow. Yeah. I'll tell you for one, if we did go up, I won't be missing as many games as I did last time. Home and away. I will be going to Arsenal on a Wednesday night and seeing us getting wrecked seven 0 Just for just for a laugh, why not? Let's keep building and doing our thing. We have a special group that's create more special memories, definitely. 
I think we'll bottle playoffs. Yeah, that's that's my fear. That's my fear. The one time I go and then I get branded as the bad luck thing. Hope they bring back priority points. We'll see what happens. When we love those and we love Wembley. We'll just have to wait and see. What I will say is that this group of lads now, when we're not doing that stupid thing of sitting back and, and not looking like we're bothered about winning ball back, which we do sometimes do, but every team has the bad moments. When we're not doing that, and when we're actually on it, and and when we're um, and when we're um, you know going through the motion of winning the ball back, grafting for it, and when we've got the ball, this group of lads is one of the best I've seen at a club without money spent in probably since the promotion season. This this club at the minute has a lot of loyalty that's not been bought and it's been earned and the, the respect's clearly there. You can see by the way that everyone... Sometimes people bullshit in presses, but you can just tell by the words that we're using. The words that people are using in the presses that they're not, they're not lying. They're being serious. Um, I hope we go up. But at the minute, it's a situation where we need the other teams to start losing games because we're doing good. Uh, I'm backing us to win 2-1 tomorrow. If we get a point, that will be good. You know, I'm not going to I'm not gonna lie. I, I just don't want us to lose tomorrow. Because if we lose tomorrow, we're Sheffield United and Fulham come in. For me, for me, for me, if we lose tomorrow... And don't beat Sheffield United. I think the dream is is done there. Because what will happen is, it's all about bouncing back. And it took us a couple of games to bounce back last time. You know, and we lost to the teams like, you know, like Cardiff and drawing with Peterborough and Coventry and Barnsley. And obviously Coventry are a good team. But, you know, in the 91st minute, if, if we don't, if we lose the unbeaten run at Fulham, that's fine because you can class that as a one-off. But if we lose it tomorrow and then don't win on, on Saturday and get held to a draw or lose again, then at Fulham, we're going to get absolutely rinsed and then it's going to have a knock-on effect in the next few games. And that's what I'm worried about. That's why I don't want to imagine us doing all this magical stuff and going back up again, because I've got a feeling that, that, that it could go wrong at this stage. But... If we win tomorrow night, it's like it's like I feel like I'm saying this every week. Every win is massive. It is because that's how close it is. This win tomorrow night. If we win tomorrow night, that is absolutely huge. Absolutely. If we win on Saturday as well, then I can go into Fulham with an open mind and think, yeah, you know, we might be able to beat these or draw to them because Blackpool done it. God, God knows how Blackpool can beat Fulham and then lose 3 0 to us. That made zero sense to me. If, if we go if we go into that, that Fulham game unbeaten, then I've, as far as I'm concerned, I've not to worry about. I can go to that game, having spent 55 quid in the process, which I am a bit pissed off about, but as it's town and I, I don't really, you know, care it is in, in, the, in the principle of I go home and away all the time. But 55 quid, and, I, and I'm student ticket, that's that's appalling for them. But we'll pay it, we'll go. Even though it's on telly, we'll pay, we'll go. Um, if I can go to Fulham in an open mind, having not lost, I wouldn't have got bad as much if Sarba, Scofield, Sarba, and refs were not being ridiculous, it wouldn't have been that bad. Another one is a step close to the beast dream of all. Yeah, um, I don't know. I just don't know. It's 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 strange at the minute. We're expecting other teams to come that uh, come come down a peg because of the games they've um, because of the games they've got. Um, but I think Fulham are in a better position now than they were because they've just beat you know beating Bristol six two, Reading seven nil. Have you ever met any town players? That's a great question, that. Um, um, over the years, yeah, I, I spoke to um, 
uh, they were a pre-season game at Barnsley years ago um, where I got a shirt signed by everyone in the squad apart from Lursel, Moy and Zanko. Uh, I got a picture with Moy, uh, Zanko, Kachunga, Wagner at the, 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 the fireworks display and then Moy at the, uh, the pre-season friendly against Leon. Uh, 20 quid max, yeah. And maybe 17 for a student or 15. Because, you know, some of us don't really kind of have the the money. You know, I do it anyway, but, you know, we always find a way. But, um, you know, I've got a lot to be grateful for in that regard. But, like I say, I, um, I am confident, but... I am right. I am confident. I am positive. But there is a thing at the minute where I'm that I'm that confident that I'm also scared that this could go wrong somehow. And and the thought of of getting the thought. What my biggest fear is, and a lot of people will, will let be level with me here and get what I mean. What I, my biggest fear is is for us to stay where we are, get in the playoffs, miss out. Yeah, whether it be the the first, you know, whether it be getting battered in the first leg, and and just there's no point even going to the second leg. I'd still go again, but you know, I mean, my point, whether it's over the two legs, the penalties, whatever, if we don't go up, I'm just scared that we'll have missed out on a chance um, to get back there. And obviously that's massive in its own right. And we'll be kissing goodbye to the likes of Tom Sorber Thomas straight away because he'll be going up. Levi, we won't get him back on a load. We might, we might not even if we did go up. Um, you know, we could sign Sinane or Brian would be out the door straight away as well. Um, there's just certain players that I'm really scared that we could lose if we don't go up. There's obviously some that are going to get found out when we go up and that happens. But I'd get smashed every week in the league and in the cup if it meant we got back up there. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't care as long as we... As long as we actually had ambition, even if we went down again, it put it put us in a great position to go straight back up. Um, but you know what, guys? Um, this is giving me a thought. We're not even talking about Preston now. So what I'm going to do is, I mean, if you have enjoyed this video, please do leave a like, subscribe to the channel, all that kind of stuff that you know I'm going to do. Massive thank you for the donation from Piers. I'm going to have to go eat some tea. But I will say something. Um, the feeling's good at the minute. Let's keep it up. Let's not lose. But if we have to lose against Fulham, I won't be as phased. But I'm going to do another stream just talking about this in general, getting everyone's perspective. You know, is promotion a realistic option? That's what I'll title it. And I'll do a stream like this for a good hour or whatever. And we'll just, we'll see where we stand. And what we'll do is, It'll just be me, but we'll we'll get guests on on and off in between, and we'll have a little five minute um, five minute things from each uh, from each guest, you know, giving their thought, uh, as well as um, as well as I'm, I'm looking to do some Twitter spaces as well. But yeah, Josh, in answer to your question, we are getting pissed tomorrow. Uh, Chris, see how your channel's going. Yeah, thank you so much, guys. Um, I mean, even through the, the, the horrible times of, of COVID, you guys stood by me, supported me. Um, lots could have just said, no, we don't want to watch. I've dropped my pen. Uh, loads could have, said, could have said, no, not my pen. They were a bit that snapped off and I was playing with it. Um, there were a lot that kind of said, that uh, a lot that could have said that they, they wasn't bothered about the live thing. That, you know, there was no game on. It was just me talking. Um, so obviously not the same as the logs. You guys still came and tuned in. And obviously I'll never forget that. The donations as well. No, but they're just that's just money. Like a lot, a lot of a lot of the good things that come from it is is just the kindness, and that's what I am grateful for. Brian, we will get you on. Um, we will get you on as a guest, definitely. We'll get loads of you on as a guest. Uh, as many as many as want to get on, given the time frame. What down I saw on live with you was class. It, it was a good time. We made the best of what we uh, we made the best of uh, of what we had. But anyway, guys. We've been going for an hour and 15. I didn't plan this, but it's always nice to do it sometimes. Um, but I really need to eat now. Um, so I must thank you for all, uh, for all the support. 
Uh, hope you did enjoy the video. If if you know someone who hasn't seen it, then then please um and please share it about. Um, I'll be seeing you guys tomorrow night at Deep Dale. Remember the one we battered Swan's phone. That was that was a good one. That was a good one. Uh, we will be doing a vlog. We might be doing a fan cam with um, with Pierce. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But this is a massive next four games. We'll just have to wait and see where we stand uh, at the end of it. Love all spot from you guys. Um, that is all from me. I think one more thing. The town are going up with a five in the bank. Cheers, guys.